Guys, the video cut out. Now I've mixed in the salt and pepper, about a tablespoon of both, and then two cups of cheese. I use cheddar and then mozzarella and asiago, and two cups of milk. So the cheesy goodness is all ready to go. We're just waiting on the pasta to boil still. Just finished cooking the cheesy garlic bread. We're gonna cut these up, break them into small pieces and put them on the top of the mac and cheese. Pasta just finished boiling. So we're gonna dump that in with the sauce now. The cheesy goodness sauce. Gonna stir that in now. Make that all nice and cheesy. Now that it's all mixed in, we're going to go throw it in the pan and get ready to do the garlic bread on top. All the mac and cheese is in the pan. I'm just going to break up these delicious guys. As you see, I took a bite. It was so good. You can cut them, break them, whatever. I'm just going to break them. Now this garlic bread's all on top of the mac and cheese. I like a little bit more than most. And by the way, it's delicious. Now I'm going to sprinkle this cheese on. Just because I like cheese. Now that the cheese is all on top of the garlic bread and mac and cheese, it's time to go in the oven. After 25 minutes at 350 degrees, here's the final product. It looks delicious.